The Masonry Advisory Council presents the Masonry Educational Video Series. This segment discusses what is a control joint. The Masonry Standards Joint Committee, MSJC, has written a document to provide specifications and codes for masonry structures. This important code acts as the minimum necessary requirement for all masonry buildings in the United States. The MSJC is also the basis for understanding masonry terminology. Here are some typical control joint details. The MSJC states contraction joints, also called control joints or shrinkage joints, are used in concrete masonry to accommodate shrinkage. These joints are free to open as shrinkage occurs. Concrete shrinks with time. This means that every concrete masonry block in a wall will shrink a small dimension. The sum of the shrinkage across all of the concrete masonry blocks adds up and must be addressed. If control joints are left out of the design, cracks will form from the powerful shrinkage forces. The International Masonry Institute, IMI, provides great resources for three-dimensional designs of masonry elements. Here is a preformed gasket control joint. Take note that the concrete masonry blocks have a special end to accommodate the preformed gasket. These blocks are called sash blocks. Notice that the horizontal joint reinforcement is terminated at the control joint to allow movement. Thank you for watching the Masonry Educational video series discussing what is a control joint. For more information, please contact the Masonry Advisory Council at info at maconline.org or watch more videos on our YouTube channel. This video was sponsored and presented by the Masonry Advisory Council.